Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are going to do some textural ambient music that you could listen to uh, just to chill out, you know. Anyway, uh, hello, hello to everyone who's here in the chat as well. Thank you for joining me this evening, uh, like where we are taking a look at uh, Drambo. So, okay, did I say welcome to the sound test room? I'm, I don't know, I can't remember. So, <clears throat> first part, uh, first part of this. We're going to make some noise. We're going to create a noise patch. Um, so, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my master volume is down a little bit. I'll give you a, 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 a couple of ideas. So hit, hit the little plus button. And what I would do first is create an ADSR. But if you want to, you can just go straight into generator and hit um, the noise oscillator and it will just start to make noise because there is no envelope. You could do it like this if you wanted to. You could just let it do this and then add some filtering, which is what we're gonna do. However, I would suggest the first thing to add, uh, if you wanna do it my way, of course, you can do it You can do it any way you like. It's Drambo, it's modular. Uh, I'm gonna to go to processor and add an amp ADSR. And I'm just gonna drag this to the side till that little plus appears go to generator again and then add the noise and now the noise is uh hooked up to the adsr so when i play the keyboard it does that but at the moment it's just kind of do you know what i mean uh, also what i'm going to do first of all is um change the tempo here down to oh i think 90. <clears throat> <clears throat> maybe even 80 we'll go down to 80 i think okay so i'm going to go down to 80 bpm excuse me just a moment <clears throat> can clear me throat right so down to 80 bpm and we've got our amp envelope and our noise and then i'm also going to add in here i'm going to move this just to the side here i'm going to add in a processor and I'm just going to add in a basic analog filter here. So I'll turn it back up now. And then I'm going to add in an envelope to control a cut, uh, an LFO to control a cutoff. So Jambo works from left to right. So we want to be adding our envelope just before our filter and it will be in uh, our LFO, it'll be a modulator. And we're just gonna add just, uh, oops, I don't want that. Oh yeah, well that'll do, that LFO will do. And then I'm going to, have I, I'm going to tap on where it says cut off here and connect that to the LFO and give it the uh, LFO an amount to control it with. And I'm going to turn this down. I'm going to switch off bipolar. Turn the amount down and the frequency. And. And that as well. So that noise is basically just going to do that. And then I'm going to add a reverb at the end. So processor reverb and just that we'll just add a plate reverb and the resonance here i'm going to also uh, assign to an lfo so Again, I'm going to just move this filter a little bit to the left there and add, and this time I'm going to add in another modulator and just a mini LF, I will do it. And the resonance, I'm going to tap on the resonance and assign that to the mini LFO. So we've got some movement in that noise. Now, what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to increase this to eight bars. Uh, so each sequence, because it's going to be kind of slow and chilled and not a lot, I, I don't want it to do too much. I just want it to be interesting to listen to. So we're going to go up to uh, eight bars here. Okay, that's fine. And I'm just going to also decrease the attack on the noise a little bit as well because when it comes back around I don't really want to hear that initial initial attack so that sounds a little bit like wind so I've got a simple thing to LFO some noise a filter amp envelope and some reverb of which, which we can of course play around with Right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record and it's going to give me a one bar counting because that's how I have it set up up here in the metronome. See, I have metronome set for recording. I have pre-roll set to four beats, which is one bar. I have clips auto grow for recording switched off. Okay, so it will just record these four bars. So I'll just give it a, the counting. Now there's another way to do this as well, but it's it's the same. <laughs> I'm not even sure this is picked up actually. Right, it's done. Here we go. It's picked up at the front there, you see. You can stop record now. And a couple of minutes to make a kind of moving, kind of gentle, relaxing kind of wind noise. Which sounds quite nice. Okay, let's stop that. Let's go to channel two. Uh, we will put some drums in. I think what I'm going to do is I got that Sitala uh, drum machine today from the developers. Uh, it has it's actually the perfect kit for this kind of thing but I'm going to add it in here and it'll be in generator and audio unit instruments and I'll just search for it at the top Sitala now I am going to do a video for Sitala there it is I am going to do video for Sitala and I will just open it up as well so you can see what it is uh, it's basically it's a drum machine and its default kit is a dry 808. There are, I have also already started to build a kit, but I'll do a tutorial on that. I haven't had time because I only got it today, but I just kind of want to use this. I want to use this, this kit for the, the, for the rhythm, which kind of, I, I want the rhythm to go all, like be all the way through. So again, um, I don't necessarily need this to be um, uh, four bars long or eight bars long, if you like. But I'll, I will just for now make it two bars long, like this, and play it off my MIDI keyboard. So let's turn up the volume up a little bit. So. So something something simple. Something simple like that will do. I might even let me just give it a bit more volume, I think. I can go in and mess around with the A little bit. 
Okay, so I'll just record. I'm just going to record in this like a really basic beat. to that and again I'm going to put on a reverb over the whole kit so processor now so save as um, chill me beans <laughs> why not hey eh? right just in case anything goes wrong so n moving on next track uh, next track I kind of want a, a nice kind of low fi ish kind of pad sound uh, now I think we can if we go to generator I'm going to look at the, the internal instrument rack, not build a synth. This will save time. But look at some factory patches here and some instruments. And there are some really nice pad sounds. <laughs> so something like this, which is really loud at the moment, so we can fix this. And at the moment it's mono because we need to give it some, oh, but I only want a few voices, so four will be enough for me. I'll make some adjustments to this sound on the instrument that's been built, so let me have a look what's going on. Now this I do want to be longer, so I'm guessing, uh, let me go with 8 bars for this as well, because, you know, I wanted to maybe change a couple of times. Cool, cool beans. Can you hear, I hope you can hear me okay, one, two, one, 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 oh, I'm sure you can. <coughs> Okay, so <clears throat> hi Jamie, hi Dan. <clears throat> so let's see, let's just have a jammer along.
right, so we've got, we could, I guess we could do a little tiny bit of arranging now if we open up our, um, uh, I could put another track in, but I'll do it in a moment. I'll open up the uh, thing. Actually, I'll do it so we can still see what's going on here. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to, and I'm going to uh, create another track. So the, 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 the wind noise, we can um, just copy and um, paste. Oh, what have I done here? That's weird. What's going on there? Uh, uh, copy and paste, right. And we'll start with these two here. I'll just move those down to this next one. And again, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this third one and remove from this one here. I'll just delete that one and delete that one. And then on this one, I'll delete um, that one. Oh God. <laughs> and I can also actually delete it from there as well. So n now if I play, just make sure I'm off and on time, just listen. take this track in and duplicate it and then add and I'm going to add in something here on uh, track four so I've got a sound in mind which is also part of Drambo which I'll start with so let's go back to our oops let's go back to our um, main view here and just just for starters with this just to make sure because this is track four I'm going to also um set this to eight bars and add in and there's an instrument here that's really nice called april plucks um so i've gone to the ordinary uh, instrument rack here and go to factory and instruments this time and it's there it's called april pluck it's a really really nice sound but there's loads of dead for now and also remember that when you create a new a new track you will and your midi to cv to increase the voices to what to you can have up to 16 voices now pair rack in drambo and stick eight in. Just, i kind of feel i want this to be in the background doing something something like that so again I'm, I'm no I don't want to fold well 
Well, I do think it would benefit from some delay. So let's see if we can, I, it might have to go into the engine and put the delay on, but this might work, I'm not sure. Processor. And just uh, a delay effects. Oh, it's fine, so. A lot of feedback. So I don't need to do a lot to get a lot of movement. Maybe a little bit too much feedback there. Okay, so let's uh, again. Be playing. I want to be playing this track here and I want this to loop so I'm looping. select an, a new track and again I think we can definitely um, do something with the amount that we wanted to play with this time let's try four and I'll use that April pluck sound now just to again to add more texture so you're not necessarily any sound in particular is going to stand out in your face but the the sounds as a combination is a texture and what we can do is what we'll do in a little bit is kind of start to add more tracks but you can drop stuff in and out then so the, the some of the textures you can highlight and then you know oh you'll know what I mean you, you'll know what I mean right so let's this time again we'll go to our generator instrument rack and we'll choose uh, factory presets instruments and definitely this April block now now if we wanted to I guess I suppose what we could do is add in um here in a in, in a processor we could look for i think they're being in here i'm not sure oh no maybe would it be in maybe in midi let me see what i'm, I'm looking for there we go an arpeggiator so and maybe i think this might i'm not sure right because i'm not really super genius here here we go so put this before the midi to cv and we'll we'll have a uh, an arpeggiator but uh, do we really want it to be that fast i 
and again I'm going to make some adjustments to the cutoff. Sounds quite nice. Well, we get an LFO to play with the um, cutoff. Let's move that just a tiny bit. Let's go to modulator and just use an ordinary. Oh, we'll just use a mini LFO. I only wanted to do that one thing. I'm going to tap cutoff here connected to the LFO. And well, that's cool. That sounds really quite nice and it's quite into a fact might actually get away with it is a, a little bit faster so let's just uh,
start to add some more texturing. of the corn dog.
duplicate this one and then take out um, that one and that one. And what's 10 going to be doing now? Let's loop this. So we're now to add another track, I think. What time is it? Oh, yeah, I'll add one more. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, um, instrument rack. Let's go with me. Doug. It's Doug. Instrument rack. Doug. Uh, movement pad. What's this? What's this all about? Oh, this is one made with five synth master twos. <laughs> Not need the volume for the kickoff, but maybe the chords. That sounds actually quite okay. Oh. That sounds better. Good. Yeah, okay, cool beans. Let's do this. Um, eight bars. Yeah, eight bars. Um, you can have up to 16 bars in Drambo. Um, I think I'll stick with that inversion. So let's, let's just have a, have a, let's just record it and see what happens. so much for joining me this evening where we kind of kind of just started really to build up a track i'll just start this i'll play this through guys while you say to each other um brilliant top job cool beans we did a, a bit of a, a bit of a track in uh, in drambo anyway so anyway um yeah awesome I will see you all later. Thank you very, very much for joining me this evening while we took a look at Drambo and made a kind of textural based, textural based, quite slow 80 BPM. Just something you might make just to entertain yourself or just to be a chill type tracks, that kind of thing. Um, it's the fun of music, you, you, you know, you just, just make stuff that makes you happy. <laughs> Thanks very much guys and I will see you later. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron, super chat, super stickers, super thanks, all that cool stuff you can do to help me and Joe here at the Scientist Dream. Bless you all and I will see you later. Ta-da!